Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. We're getting ready to make a cattle drive. And so what we've done is uh, this is kind of a mean um, exit here on this farm. That gate's up here. And we got all these baby calves. This is the, uh, the cow herd that's already calved. Um, we have split them. We've got... Uh, I think 60 in that other herd. There's about 85 new mamas here in this herd. Anyway, um, they, uh, I told Isaac and them, that this has worked good in the past. We take a piece of sheet netting uh, and start at the gate and bring it all the way back at a right angle, perpendicular, perpendicular to that gate. So that when we open that steel gate up there, these cattle, not so much the cows, it's the baby calves. If they go underneath that wire, if we just had a wire here, trying to guide them out that gate, if they go under that wire, they're gonna follow the moms in the cow herd up that road on the pasture side. Well, there's four strand barbed bar fence out there. And so it's imperative that these cattle and the calves all go out as one. Otherwise, it's a wreck. <laughs> Ask me how I know that. Yeah, it's experience. So what the boys did last night is they gave them this nice little grass trap right here. It has not been grazed. And so we saved it. And you can tell the cattle are pretty happy in here eating. Yeah, they're anxious. They know it's moving time. But they got something to eat. And so this gives us time to get everything set up and such. And then uh, I'll open the gate after I tie my ribbon on. And I'm going to take off in the truck going east to get the next ribbon tied on. <clears throat> so that uh, I'm going to be the blocker. See, I've already got one tied up out here. Boy, these cattle are in good shape. My God. They really are. They really have slicked off just in the last seven, eight days. There's old 160. 160. She's our lead cow. She's here by the gate. She knows this gate's coming open, and it's her job to lead the lead the cow mob to the next farm. So this is what I'm talking about. So if that netting wasn't there, those babies gonna dart underneath that wire right there, that poly wire, and there they go, walking up that pasture on this side of the fence and the cow herd's in the road. So if you got a piece of netting, just do this. Just run it out, that's one, that's one piece. I think it's 180 feet in that roll. And uh, calves will not, will not go through that. So it works. It works good. The cows, though, they're eating that um, grapevine, the grape leaves. <laughs> Got all this good grass and she's eating grape leaves. Ah, now she just took down a red bud. A red bud tree. She's eating that. That's just so cool about animals. Ruminants. You know. You can tell they've grazed this. This is a farm that fastens on to ours. We call it Kevin's Farm. And uh, most of it's timber, but there's probably, oh, We've cleared some of it with Johnny on the back over here. There's probably close to 20 acres in here. And uh, it fastens on, let's see, on two sides. Yeah, so it would fasten on on the south and on the east. So it, it works pretty darn good. Well, <laughs> right over there too. We can walk him out this gate and hit uh, Gordon's, which is right across the road over there. So, it just fits in nicely with the farm and uh, 
Well, there's a nice half there. You gotta get an ear tag in you, honey. <laughs> Look at her. She's trying to smell me. Yeah, she's a beaut. Get the happy lines on that half line. My goodness, there's one on that cow right there. The lines that are going horizontal, those are called happy lines. You know your animals are doing. You, know, you see those streaks. You can see it on all, all the ones that are slicked off. It's easy to see. You can see the happy lines. The ones that's packing just a little bit of winter hair in yet, you can't see it. I made the comment to Isaac a minute ago. Of course, he's a pretty humble fellow. And I told him, I said, I don't know if we've ever had a better looking calf crop. And Isaac being humble as he is, and I, you know, I was giving Isaac credit. I said, hey, they're doing well. And he goes, well, Greg, he said, we've got pretty good grass. <laughs> so, you know, you can have pretty good grass, but if you don't have good management, I don't care how good a grass you got, your animals still aren't going to perform as well as they would if you've got a good operator that's watching, like Isaac and Ike and Jackson are. They're on top of it. So, yeah. I can remember when we leased this farm. It was in 2000... I believe it's 15. Um, well, it would have been when Kevin was here. Yeah, it was. It was when Kevin was here. So that was around 2015, 2016. He was one of our interns. And um, I'm telling you what, this little bottom right here, the cows would come in here and they'd make one walk around it and then they would, they would leave. There wasn't anything here for him to eat. It was just a broom sedge, um, just rank. There wasn't even any fescue in here to speak of. And uh, we've unrolled hay. And uh, years ago when I first got it, um, we, we put some lime on it. And uh, it's helped it. It's helped it a lot. Yeah. So anyway... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, and uh, we're going to get this thing going here in a minute. The boys are rounding up the loose ends back here, and we're going to be on the road here in just a few minutes and make another cattle drive. Uh, folks, you all new to the channel, if you would, hit that subscribe button. That'd be awesome, and uh, we'll be seeing you all next time.